Welcome back. And our next guest is breathwork and life coach, Christine Hart Savage. And the topic we'll be discussing today is reversing stress and burnout. Welcome, Christine. Thank you for having me again, Megan. Christine, can you describe stress and burnout for us? They're, they're two different things. So stress is something that builds up inside your body. So we often don't know we're, we're stressed. So we go out into the world and something happens that we don't like or we're uncomfortable about it. And instead of allowing that emotion and or expressing ourselves well, we tend to go into a little bit of shock and hold our breath a little bit. And whatever's going on at the time, that emotion we're feeling, the thoughts that we're having, when we hold our breath, it gets trapped inside the body. So then we go home and the next morning we get up, we go back out into life and we have some other stressful things happen and it starts to accumulate in the body. So stress literally builds inside us, it builds in the body and the cells, the cellular memory holds it. And if we think of stress as an energy, so we've got life force or energy flowing through us and every time we have a stress moment, it's like that part of that energy becomes crystallized. It becomes like a little marble that is blocked inside the body. So that builds up. So in the end, we can feel like the stress has got to such a point that we are a pressure cooker. And it, it's incredibly uncomfortable is a very light word for it. It is terrifying. So the stress builds up in the body. That is burnout. So burnout is when the stress keeps building and building and building and building and building to the point where you are really full. That is burnout. Now that's very serious because if we don't do something about burnout or stress at that point, we end up getting sick. It takes us into a state of not being able to cope with the smallest things. And the other thing that can happen is when someone's really at burnout or breakdown point, as I call it, we're so reactive. It's like, ah, it just comes up and these bursts, these outbursts take us over. So we're very emotionally charged. So we need to bring that down too, because not only is it not good for our health, it's no good for the people around us. Christine, can burnout happen to anyone? De most definitely. The thing with burnout too, strong people keep soldiering on. So we feel some stress, some pressure, and you wake up and say, okay, you push it over there and you just get on with the day, next day, the following day. And as it's building and building, you get to a point where it's almost impossible to keep going, but strong people do. They keep pushing through it. I can do this and they don't get help. What I've found, is that there is, it's across the board. It doesn't matter whether it is a younger person, a middle-aged person, an older person, whether these people have been, uh, they're trained academically. I find that the people that I see mostly for this burnout, that when they've got to this point where they really are not coping, are people that run their own businesses, lawyers, uh, doctors as well, and people that really are very professional because they keep going and going and going. Even university professors I've had, they don't know where to turn, they don't know what to do. And the other thing with this, when we can have burnout or really strong anxiety and panic attacks, it's often people in the media. So people that are on television, that are really confident and, and they're great, you would never think that they're suffering from burnout or panic. Also people like radio jocks that are on radio that are out there, that are funny, that are speaking to people. In, on a break, they might have to run into the toilet and try and get their breath because they're having panic attacks. So it, it can affect anybody. It doesn't matter where they're from, who they are, what they do in life. Burnout is a buildup of stress in the body and the mind. Christine, is there anything you recommend that people can do if they believe they're experiencing burnout or tips and tricks on how to prevent burnout? Most definitely. Look, burnout's one of the, the big things that I work with because it's close to my heart. Because in my life, 
I got to that point of breakdown. I went through a breakdown and this was through a marriage, second marriage. And in this particular relationship, I kept trying, and this is what strong people do, trying to make it work, trying more, overgiving is what I call it. And you give more and you give more because if you give more, of course, it's going to make things better. But we've lost ourselves when we do that. When we have burnout, the stress has built up to such a point that in the end, you have separated off from yourself. So you're disconnecting from who you are. You're disconnecting from yourself. Now, when that happens, you're also disconnecting from the people in your life. You're disconnecting from the world, basically. So it's a very lonely journey. And it's because we're blocked. We've got all of this stress in the way. So what we need to do, when you get to this point of burnout, we need to do a deeper type of releasing. So there's two things that I would suggest people do. One is something like a deeper sort of breathwork therapy. So that's a deeper process of breathing where it takes you into an altered state of consciousness. You, get, you go beyond your conscious mind and your body relaxes like crazy because as you're breathing, your energy field is opening up, opening up, opening up. That means every cell inside you is taking on new energy and oxygen and that is also unfolding and opening up and all the blockages caught in those cells then start to be released. So the person will experience different tensions and tingling and vibration and maybe emotion coming up and every time they do this type of session they're releasing more of that tension so that means they're reconnecting with themselves again bit by bit. It's a very powerful way to release what you have built up inside the cellular level of the body. Our bodies are so intelligent. Our minds are intelligent, but we're quite blocked. The thing that I find is that we're fragmented. So the mind is saying one thing, the emotions are something else, the body's intention, and the soul or the spirit is, we're all out of whack. When you do deep breathwork therapy, it brings you more into alignment. That's why people feel this incredible calm come over them towards the end of the session, because they're lining up between their spirit or soul, their mind, their emotions and their body. And when they leave, they can go out into the world feeling much more relaxed and much more connected to themselves and in balance. So that type of therapy is what people need to start releasing that deeper cellular level of burnout. We need to really reverse that burnout. And then as well as that, I would suggest people have a daily program and they definitely need to learn to breathe correctly. So they need to find a good breathing coach. And I know one of those <laughs> <laughs> and also have a meditation program as well. So that might sound like a lot, but it's not. Thanks, Christine, for such wonderful stories and wonderful information. Thank you, Megan. It's always a pleasure to be here. If you'd like to know more about reversing stress and burnout and Christine Hart Savage, go to her webpage on our website, healthwellbeingandlifestyle.com.au. And that's it for today, and we'll say bye-bye until next week.